Hi everyone, in this video we are going to design mate foundation for a 6 story apartment building using start foundation. In my previous video we designed combined footing for a residential project using e tapes result. Raft foundation becomes an economical choice when foundation area would approximately cover 50% of the total ground area beneath the structure or majority of the column footings are overlapped. Raft foundation is generally used to support structure like residential or commercial buildings where soil condition has a low bearing capacity or the load of the structure has to be distributed over a large area. So let's design the mat foundation for our six story apartment building. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon so you can be notified on my next uploads. In my last video of design of combined footings, we used to copy and paste the column based reactions for each column and for each load case. In this video, we will model column location, column size and base reaction through an excel sheet. This is the quickest way to model the entire structure at once in a start foundation software. This excel sheet will help us to create column dices, arrange the column positions and have applied loads on the respective columns. So this excel sheet basically includes the column number and the location of column with respect to coordinate and what is the column size whether it is rectangular or circular and column dimension and rest of the things you have to leave as it is. Similarly, in load table, so we are considering two load cases, dead load and live load. So the dead load is considered as load number one, live load is load number two. So we need to just copy and paste the loads from our e tabs base reactions. So this is our model. For each joint, we have got the base reactions under dead load category. So we just need to copy these loads and paste it into our Excel sheet. Similarly, we need to do the same for our live load cases. So once we do so, open start foundation software and then click import spreadsheet. So as you can see all the column dices have been created at once. So this is the column location and the column dimension and also the loads have been applied automatically. So this is the quickest way to model the entire structure at once in the start foundation using excel sheet. So as all the loads have been assigned so now we will generate the load combination. To do so we will click generate load combination. So from here we will choose AC710 then click generate load combination for service load cases. Similarly, we will again click generate load combinations to create the load combinations for ultimate load cases. So after creating the load combinations, we will create a job setup. To do so, click job setup and click create new job. So since we are designing a mat foundation, so click mat, write mat here and job type will be mat. and choose the code version. Bring all the available load cases to the selected load cases by clicking this icon and bring back these two basic load cases to available load cases and click create job. So once we click create job you will see different options appear on our navigation pan. So since there are two types of foundation one is rigid and other is flexible so isolated and meta rigid foundation and raft is flexible foundation. So for flexible foundation we need to create mesh. In order to create mesh we need to click add meshing regions. So since we need to create a region so select add rectangular region. So now we have to assign a region in which all column dices are included. To do so switch to top view. So now we know the length and width of uh, the plan is 60 feet. So just write here 60 and 60.
and then click add region now you can see our region is passing from centroid of the columns so in order to increase the region size so we need to assign a coordinate so coordinate the simple trick is you just write here the column dimension so our column dimension is 1.5 and also 1.5 here now add this becomes 3 so add 3 into this so this is 63 and 63 click again add region and remove the older one by clicking the older region and press delete from your keyboard so as you can see all column dices are inside a one region once we do so then we have to click to the meshing setup so after meshing setup we need to name the region identifier write down the name as raft and click add now click raft click generate mesh check this box create node at the column support position and click ok so the entire region has been matched once we do so then we will assign a slab thickness so let's start assume being the thickness of our slab will be 3 feet if it fails we will change this value after assigning the slab thickness now we will be assigning a soil property so for raft foundation we don't uh, use bearing capacity instead we use subgrade modulus so in order to calculate uh, subgrade modulus from bearing capacity value you can click this calculate uh, subgrade modulus from soil bearing capacity for example if a bearing capacity of the soil is 4 and assume safety vector is 3 so you just please press calculate so this will give you the value of subgrade modulus and press assign so after doing so you just analyze So our analysis is complete. In order to see the deflected shape, we need to click output view options. So stress type is global MZ. So you can see the stress values. Switch to the isometric view. Go to modeling view options. Uncheck support loading arrows, physical beams, plates and boundary and also you can scale down in order to see the proper deflected shape so switch to the front view So as you can see our plate is deflected from every direction so this shows us that raft foundation is flexible foundation switch to the 3d view again in order to calculate the reinforcement so we will click moment envelope generation so now select use ultimate load cases and generate moment envelope So this will create a small dots inside this region so after you can go to slab designer and from here you choose the required parameter of your concrete and steel and assign the covers 
and select the minimum and maximum spacing and the bar as well so the minimum spacing I'm changing it to 4 maximum is 12 which is okay then click design and then click details support so details support the important parameter is to check punching shear so as you can see our design is getting passed and punching shear so that means the assumed depth which was 3 fit was ok click close now go to the reinforcement zoning so select longitudinal top and create zone similarly longitudinal bottom and create zone again transfer stop and create zone do the same for all four reinforcement as you can see this red color basically shows number three number eight at 279.40 millimeters center to center so now click moment capacity check so moment capacity check basically provide us the reinforcement which is practical to provide on the field as compared to the reinforcing zone which gives us the reinforcement in patches so this basically shows as whether the moment capacity is failing or passing so click plot capacity diagram and moment diagram so plot failure diagram so as you can see these red patches basically shows our footing is being failed so let's uh, increase the bar size to 6 and again click to plot failure diagram so you can see still our, uh, is the some portion of this made foundation is failing increase the bar size now we are doing it uh, selecting as 7 again bar size it's not okay now reduce the spacing size so it is not working so increase the bar size so plot failure diagrams now see whole region is green so that means our footing is uh, slab is pass and longitudinal top so now increase the bar size so this would bring us to the economical design so plot failure diagram so again so number 8 bar is 12 in center to center so footing is pass in longitudinal top similarly we need to do the same for longitudinal bottom so some patches are still being failed so now we need to increase the bar size so make it 9 again plot failure diagram so see now it is also pass in longitudinal bottom do the same in transverse direction so for transfer stop it is pass under 9 number 12 is center to center so let's see what happens when we select number 8 bar so it is also pass again let's see what happens when we select number 7 bar so it is some portion of uh, the footing is failing so reduce the spacing so again it is not working so number 8 and 12 is fine so transfers bottom so it is also fine but some pages are being passed uh, sorry failed so that means select the higher size of the bar the 12 inch spacing so this is passed so that means for the bottom reinforcement and main and transverse direction we need to go for 9 number 12 inch center to center and for top we need to go for 8 inch 12 uh, 8 number 12 inch center to center Till in drawing so unfortunately the software does not uh, generate drawings for the, the raft foundation this option is only available for isolated and combined footing but you can draw it by yourself it's easy it's just uh, the way we do the reinforcement detailing for slab so guys this brings to the end of today's tutorial if you find this tutorial useful please do like and share and if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section for more updates Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can be notified on next uploads. Thank you and have a nice day.